Hi, I'm Frederick Forster, newly crowned National Chef of the Year 2011. And I'm here today to demonstrate a recipe for all you food lovers out there. Okay, now I'm going to demonstrate how to do a um, rack of lamb with a nice um, parsley and garlic herb crust. Um, first thing I'm going to do is seal off my uh, lamb in a nice hot pan with olive oil. Olive oil into the pan. So while the pan's getting nice and hot, I'm going to score the fat side of the actual lamb itself. The reason why I do that is to sort of allow this seasoning to penetrate into the actual meat itself. So just give it like a nice crisscross type of effect. Just like that. If the fat is a bit too thick on the, on the uh, best end of lamb, you can trim a bit off, but that's fine. So now what I do, season it really nicely. Nice bit of black pepper on there, on both sides. Also, take my um, mold and salt. So now that I've got the best end nicely seasoned and the um, oil is really hot in the pan, okay? Place everything inside. I'm gonna leave that there for a good sort of three to four minutes, maybe a bit longer, so I really caramelize and render down the actual fat itself. Otherwise, if you don't do that, the fat's gonna be very fatty and not nice to eat, so you wanna have it nice and crispy. So you wanna get it in there for a good three to four minutes and just cook it nice and slowly so it gets nice and golden brown. Meanwhile, while that's going on, I'm gonna prepare the actual herb crust to go on top. So what I do now, I just take um, my flat leaf parsley, okay? And then once it's picked nicely, I'm just going to slice it nice and thinly. Okay, so once you chop nicely, now I'm going to just transfer that to the actual breadcrumb itself. Just like that. Mix that in nicely now so you get a nice mixture of breadcrumbs and parsley nicely evenly distributed. Okay. Put a bit of salt and pepper actually into the actual mixture itself. Again, mix that in nicely. It's ready. Now I'm going to turn my lamb over just to sort of get the other side nicely coloured. Um, so I'm going to also seal off both sides as well because you don't want to have any raw bits exposed. So now once it's nicely coloured like that, it must go into the oven now for about um, a good seven to eight minutes now to sort of cook it sort of medium to medium rare. Okay. So the rack of lamb has now been in the oven for about seven to eight minutes. Okay, I've now taken out the oven. And what I'm gonna do now is just basically brush the garlic and the uh, grain mustard on the fat side of the lamb itself. So just give that a nice little mix. So I'm gonna spread some of the mixture onto the surface of the fat, like I said. Don't put too much, otherwise you know you're gonna be far too strong for the lamb itself, but put enough to give a bit of flavor. Also, spread nice and evenly. Then I'm going to turn it upside down onto the breadcrumbs itself, just to sort of get it nicely coated. Just like that. Then I'll pop it back onto the actual pan that it was cooked in the oven initially. And that's going to go back in the oven now for another sort of two to three minutes, just to get it slightly coloured on the top of the breadcrumbs itself and get it a bit crusty before I slice it. Okay, the rack of lamb is now taken out of the oven um, after being there for like two to three minutes. So now I'm just going to slice it into three even pieces, place them to the plate for presentation with a little drizzle of olive oil. I've cooked this lamb medium here, but you can cook it medium rare, rare, whatever you please, but the timings that I gave are for medium. Okay, nice and juicy and succulent. Take a little bit of olive oil. Nicely drizzled around the outside. And there you have it, your rack of lamb with herb crust.